Hi everyone, this is Josh Booth with the COSIDA Academic All-America Committee, and today I have the pleasure of interviewing Cameron Dukes, the quarterback for the Lindsey Wilson Blue Raiders, and this year's selection for the NAI Football COSIDA Academic All-American of the Year. Cameron, how are you doing today? Doing good. Thanks for having me. Sure thing. So Cameron uh, was selected as, like I said, the overall Academic All-American of the Year, uh, he has been with the Lindsey Wilson Blue Raiders out of Kentucky. And uh, if I get this right, hopefully you're a two-time NAI All-American. Um, you were able to lead the Blue Raiders to a phenomenal season this year, I believe 11-0. and um, And for sure, national champions. They went on an incredible run, a uh, multiple touchdown lead over all of their opponents on their way to a national championship. Um, just a great season overall for the Blue Raiders. Uh, Cameron, let's talk a little bit about that. What were the expectations of the team, of yourselves, coming into this year? Yeah, you know, coming off the uh, 2019 season, we were so close, uh, you know, getting defeated by Marion in the semifinals. And um, I think, you know, all of us in the offseason kind of had that feeling of, you know, how close we truly were and, you know, what we had coming back. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I think we all used that as, you know, motivation to, you know, kind of go through the offseason, getting ready for the upcoming games. But, you know, really, it's going to sound a little bit cliche, but we weren't focused on winning a national championship or even getting back to semifinals. We were just focused on going one and know what we need to do with the process every single week to make sure that, you know, we can get one step closer. Awesome. So COVID obviously was an unplanned wrench for everyone in society, but for particularly for sports, I mean, at my school, Bethel College, we split our season so that some of our football team or schedule played in the fall, some played in the spring. I think, Lindsey Wilson, you guys did it all in the spring, if I'm not wrong. Yes, sir. Um, how was that? How was it preparing in the fall, dealing with everything that COVID brought with it? You know, it was different. I mean, it definitely was different. It was difficult at some times, you know, going through. We come in off the summer break, you know, thinking, you know, we're getting ready to play. Everybody's excited. And then we come in, you know, we start getting this feeling like we probably aren't going to be playing. So, uh, and then, you know, Coach O had the, the meeting with us and told us, you know, we're not going to be playing. We're going to you know, pretty much have a whole nother break again. So it was kind of demoralizing in some ways, but in some ways it's a win for everybody. Like I said, for my situation, you know, get able to, you know, finish my master's now and get another season. So, you know, it's a win-win. And then, you know, we just found a way to stick together as a team, you know, when we got sent home with uh, Zoom calls and video calls with different guys on the team, different uh, position groups. So, you know, I think we, as a whole, as an organization, we kind of found a way to stick together and, and, use that as an opportunity to unify in different ways. So I got to be able to watch you firsthand in the first round of the playoffs. My school, Bethel College, traveled out to Columbia and uh, took on Lindsey Wilson Blue Raiders. And we kept it tight through the first half. And then in the third quarter, we throw an interception in the end zone. And you go and throw an 80-yard touchdown and uh, <laughs> kind of the floodgates open from there. When did you as a team realize, you know, that obviously you guys had something special, but – a national championship was realistic and you guys were going to go do this thing. Like, when did you kind of realize that? Yeah. Like I said, you know, coming off the loss against Marion, I think that we knew we were close, but I didn't know if we, we thought that we were that close. Um, but then, you know, getting sent home um, and with that on everybody's mind, the way we came back as a team was, I think the best that, you know, we've came back since I've been here that I've seen, you know, everybody's conditioning, their physical, their shape, and, you know, how we changed our bodies and, you know, just the mental side of everybody just buying in. I think when we came back from that that break that we had was the, the moment I thought, you know, this could be a special team. And then, you know, just going through the regular season, you know, beating everybody like we did, you know, um, I just think that at that point, I think we, we knew if we just stuck to our process, just focus on each week, doing what we had to do, that, you know, we might have a, a real shot at it, so. What was maybe your favorite moment maybe this year or over your career? Um, as a quarterback, obviously, you're part of all the incredible plays that happened, the memorable moments for the fans. Like, what was, what's was what been your favorite moment as a player at Lindsey Wilson? I mean, I'm, I'm definitely going to have to say win a national championship. Um, you know, I, I came from a high school where we didn't, you know, win any championships like that. We won one district championship. And so to be able to come here at Lindsey Wilson College and, you know, be able to, you know, see – playoff runs and see some some seasons didn't make playoff runs uh when in mid-south conference championships a few times and then you know being able to finally reach the pinnacle of winning the national championship is definitely the probably the most special moment i've had in sports myself 
How have you been able to balance academics with athletics as well as you have? I mean, that's what this award is all about, the combination of both. And obviously, you've reached a pinnacle level that everyone aspires to be, which is a national champion. Your season has extended like crazy because of that. You get to keep playing and playing. I mean, how, how are you able to do it this year? Definitely. Um, you know, for me, it's always been about academics first. You know, without academics, you're not going to be playing. So, um, you know, through high school and even when I got to college, you know, my parents told me that, you know, you need to go to work for four years so you can party for 40. And I go to party for four years so you can work for 40. Um, so I really took that to heart. And, you know, I came into school and I was thinking if I'm going to be in this classroom, I might as well do the best I can at it. And, um, you know, I've always wanted to become an academic All-American. And so to be able to reach that and, and be able to be called an academic All-American, it feels really good to be able to, you know, know that I did the right things in, in my time here at Lindsey Wilson. That's a great mindset to have. Um, if you're going to go to school, you might as well make it worth it so that uh, your wallet's not hurting and you're uh, getting something out of it at the end of it, too. Right. Um, so obviously, because of COVID, everyone gained a year at the NEI level and across other divisions. So it sounds like uh, you're going to be coming back to Lindsey Wilson. Is that right? Yes, sir. Awesome. So uh, kind of putting the NEI on notice that the Blue Raiders are going to try to run it back again. Um, Cameron, thank you for taking the time today. Congratulations on a very successful season and uh, looking forward to seeing what you guys do here and hopefully a normal fall season in 2021. Yeah, thank you very much. And I just want to say before we end, uh, you know, thank you to everybody at Cosada for, you know, recognizing me at, for this award. It's, um, you know, definitely been a goal of mine to, to reach this and to be able to be named this. It's, it's a true honor. So thank you all. That's awesome, Cameron. Best of luck to you and your team here coming up here in just a couple months. Yeah, thank you very much.